All right, so uh, the 13th Sabordi, uh, the last of the four in the Kesa cutting uh, series. Uh, once again, 10th Sabordi, just shoulder through hip, 11th Sabordi, hip through shoulder, 12th Sabordi, both combined. Okay. And now the 13th Sabordi, as you, you cut and as you rise up, you're deflecting. Okay. <clears throat> so just simply put, I'm cutting, and then the left hand and my hips okay, start to deflect. So it's coming up the same line, but to deflect, okay? Okay, and then to cut. Hips and hand. Nice feeling of flow. Okay, so um, uh, this is a nice one for feeling your hips, your center. So to rise and fall, okay, with a little bit of uh, undulation, okay, whereas you uh, deflect, the center and the hips are coming up a little bit without losing your grounding, but the energy is directing up, and then the cut, settling down. Okay. So, Open this up so you can see them comfortably extending. So otherwise, you might do this. Okay. Pressing in order to deflect with the back of the blade, the mune, the back of the blade. Okay. Deflect. Okay. Then if you want to do switching feet, again, if you have tight quarters, confined space, not much room in the yard. You do your cut, okay? and then you do your deflection. Okay? Then you do the other side, cut on this side. Switch my feet, do your deflection. Drop. Okay. It's uh, always more challenging with any of these, doing them static in a confined space with switching your feet back and forth, but it's good awareness for your hips and your footwork, okay? So easier is to do it in motion, okay? So I've done my cut, then deflect. Nice big feeling. Cut, deflect. Nice big feeling. Same going back. So even though I'm gonna go back, I'm not gonna collapse my front knee. Deflect, deflect all from the hips. Keep the attitude forward. Okay, 13th okay, subordinate.